You were never mine, but I slept every night hoping that one day my hands would grow just a little bit longer, long enough to reach you. My hands are strong and firm, long enough for a man of my age, but they were short of courage. My feelings were naked all along. You could see your name tattooed at every corner. My reactions were open letters. You could read them with your eyes closed. Every part of me said, I love you. The way my hand held yours like the leaf would the morning dew. The way my eyes looked at your lips like they were the answers to all of my prayers. The way my lips automated a smile at a glance of you. The day you walked away for the last time, you claimed I never expressed my feelings, but every part of me was a messenger. I guess you'd only understand my tongue, the very part of me that wears a cloak of silence and shrinks into a pot of fear at the sight of you. I spent a lot of time realizing how to let you know that you are the beautiful colors that ocean butterflies into my heart, that my heart is an orchestra that has been singing this song titled you for so long and every time. I leave the place of Riaza confident that I'll tell you the next time we see. But you see, like a menstrual cycle, I live again without a word, but with the confidence that nature will bring us together again. But I won't get another chance now, because another man has impregnated your ears with the word you only understand when communicated with the tongue. I love you. And those were words I said every single time we met. Just not with my tongue.